Reports are floating in media that the THAAD missile defense base in South Korea is being upgraded. The South Korean Defense Ministry has denied that transport of military hardware into the base was aimed at upgrading the THAAD. As per the ministry, the U.S. forces Korea brought new interceptor missiles as well as other military hardware and equipment for facility construction onto the base in the center town of Songju by ground. According to the ministry, the package included missiles that were meant to replace expired ones and that no additional launchers were brought in. But several analysts have raised questions about the ministry's explanation and stated that the missiles were relatively new and should not need to be replaced. There are also reports in local media that the military cargo contained what seemed like part of a launcher. This is bound to invoke a strong response from China as THAAD is one of the most sophisticated air defense systems in the world and has a long detection range. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how U.S. is tightening the noose around China by possible THAAD upgrade in South Korea. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. In July 2016, American and South Korean military officials agreed to deploy the THAAD missile defense system in the country to counter North Korea's growing threats and use of ballistic missiles and nuclear tests. Each THAAD unit consists of six truck-mounted launchers, 48 interceptors, fire control and communications unit, and ANTPY-2 radar. Songju County in North Zhongsang Province was chosen as a THAAD site, partly because it's out of range of North Korean rocket artillery along the DMZ. The six-launcher THAAD battery was installed in South Korea in 2017. From the very beginning, China was opposed to this move by the U.S. and South Korea. In 2016, Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi expressed concerns that deployment of THAAD in South Korea, despite being directed at North Korea, could jeopardize China's legitimate national security interests. And in 2017, the vice chairman of China's Central Military Commission asserted to the chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff that deployment of THAAD around China was one of the factors which had a negative influence on bilateral military ties and mutual trust. The major concern among Chinese officials is that they believe the purpose of the THAAD system, which detects and intercepts incoming missiles at high altitudes, is actually to track missiles launched from China, not from South Korea. China has even taken some retaliatory economic measures against South Korea for this. Terminal High Altitude Area Defense is a United States Army anti-ballistic missile system, which is designed to shoot down short, medium, and intermediate-range ballistic missiles in their terminal phase. The THAAD system is being designed, built, and integrated by Lockheed Martin Space Systems, acting as the prime contractor. Key subcontractors include Raytheon, Boeing, Aerojet, Honeywell, and BAE Systems, to name a few. THAAD is strictly a ballistic missile defense system and is not designed for general air defense duties like defense against aircraft. It's considered to be one of the best when it comes to ballistic missile defense systems having been designed from the ground up for this purpose. THAAD is engineered to defend against ballistic missiles in challenging scenarios like even if the rival launches a barrage of missiles and simultaneous interception of multiple missiles is required. 
The system is quick to deploy and mobile, which makes it a very flexible weapon. An important aspect is that it's compatible with other systems, like Patriot Pac-3, and is designed to integrate into the ballistic missile defense system of the US military. The THAAD missile is manufactured at a Lockheed Martin facility near Troy, Alabama. The facility performs final integration, assembly, and testing of the THAAD missile. THAAD system consists mainly of three components – radar, battle manager, and missile launch battery. The THAAD missiles are guided by the Raytheon system's ANTPY-2 ground-based radar. THAAD can also be queued by military satellites such as Brilliant Eyes. The ANTPY-2 Surveillance Transportable Radar, also called the Forward-Based X-Band Transportable FBXT, is a long-range, very high-altitude, active electronically scanned array surveillance radar. It possesses a range of 2,900 miles or 4,700 kilometers. It has two modes, one to detect ballistic missiles as they rise and another that can guide interceptors towards a descending warhead. Since the radar uses X-band frequency and narrow beam widths, it's good at isolating smaller objects, such as a warhead versus space debris. The radar passes information related to the threat, such as speed and trajectory, to the battle manager. The battle manager is basically the brain for the system, and it extrapolates the information received by it, predicts the path of the incoming missile, and directs interceptors against it. The interceptor missile is around 6 meters in length and is equipped with a single-stage solid-fuel rocket motor with thrust vectoring. The missile has a speed of 8.24 Mach or 2.8 kilometers per second. The guidance system is indium antimonide imaging, coupled with infrared seeker head. It has an operational range of 200 kilometers or about 125 miles and a flight altitude of 150 kilometers or 93 miles. The missile has no explosives and uses the hit to kill approach. It has a kinetic kill vehicle to knock out incoming missiles. A THAAD battery can include up to nine transporter erector launchers, each carrying eight interceptors for immediate launch. Their supporting equipment that includes storage and reloading systems that will enable a refill of interceptors when the first batch is used up. The current THAAD battery in Xiangju is designed to work as a standalone unit. U.S. Missile Agency Director Vice Admiral John Hill said during a press briefing, If you take ANTPY-2 THAAD radar, which can see a lot further than a Patriot battery radar, then now you can extend and take full advantage of the kinematic capability of a Patriot. He also stated that the mobilization of THAAD launchers through remote operation will lead to their integration with Patriot missiles, which will allow troops to use the right missile for the right threat at the right time. According to the local daily, Zhunjiang Ilbo, the items that were brought onto the Shangju base last week include systems that enable the integration of THAAD with Patriot missiles, which South Korea already operates. The South Korean Defense Ministry rejected the report as incorrect. Deputy Defense Ministry spokesman Colonel Moon Hong Sik said, Jun Jang's report that says new equipment for such systems integration is not true. The replace was to change some of the decrepit equipment with the new ones of the same type and has nothing to do with a THAAD system upgrade. He also noted, it's not for THAAD launchers but the U.S. military's vehicle to transport guided missiles. THAAD can even distinguish actual missiles with warheads with the decoy missiles. The long-range radar of the system can also be used to look way further than the South Korean airspace. Chinese aerial assets in its range can be profiled with this very powerful radar. This is the reason China feels that THAAD could be used to spy on the country and is a national security concern. When it comes to US and South Korea, it's in their advantage if they can maintain a tactical ambiguity regarding the THAAD upgrade. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and 
kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.